October 26th and I am standing here at the Mississippi River in southern Illinois. I'm about to do the river to river trail and see if I can hike over to the Ohio River and uh, you have to go down or tradition is you go down and put your foot in the water and um, then when you get to the Ohio you do the same thing and I'm going to get a little half a vial of water here and then fill it up over there. So we are here at Grand Tower and we're going to walk over to Elizabethtown and I left the car over there, did two caches and we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Let's hit the trail. All right, here we go. Mississippi River. Foot in. Might as well do both. <laughs> I also have this little bottle that I'm going to fill up halfway here. And then when we get to uh, the Ohio River, we'll do the other half. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. Pretty good. All right, we'll carry that over and we'll fill it up with the Ohio River water. Now let's uh, go ahead and find the trail and get out of here. So here's my first trail marker right here. It's like a little eye. It's turned to the right because I'm going to make a right turn here, but that is the blaze we'll be following on this and that's the first one and I should mention that um, going eastbound <laughs> you have to start out with about a 10 a little over 10 mile of a road walk so <clears throat> probably won't be a whole lot of filming in this first little 10 miles because I'll just be on a road so anyway um, Really happy to be here. I've been looking at this trail since 2014 and finally I'm going to get it off the list. So, River to River Trail, Illinois. Saw a lot of good colors uh, while I was caching, so gonna head east to Elizabethtown. Here we go. Well, it looks like I picked a really beautiful day to start. Uh, it's pretty warm. Hardly any clouds. Just those over there. And uh, <clears throat> probably about four miles down the trail. And just wanted to mention right up here somewhere, this entire trail is in Illinois, except there's a tiny little piece up here where it goes out and around for a second and you actually are in Missouri just for a few minutes so uh not exactly sure where it'll be it's probably up here uh, where it starts to go out to the left here but anyway uh, making good time on this road and um just uh gonna keep booking down there towards uh it's a place called inspiration point that'll be where i'll get off the road and get onto a trail and uh yeah, I think that goes a little bit, and then I'm back on a road, and anyway, there's some road walking on this, but we'll work it out, and um, yeah, I'm just going to keep heading that way, walk as far as I can today, and you know, just stealth camp wherever I can, so just wanted to give you a quick little look here, really nice, and yeah, I think I'll be cutting across this little tiny little piece of Missouri here in a second but anyway onward to inspiration point these little bluffs up ahead <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going I'm gonna go around and then come up and climb up on top of them and looks like I see a couple more hikers coming this way so 
Um, whoever's doing the trail, I'm sure they'll be doing it uh, westbound, so probably will pass some people. But anyway, we're almost there, looks like. I'll see you up there. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks for coming with me again on another hike and uh, hopefully we're going to have a blast out here. We're going to try to do it in seven days, eight days at the most and it uh, looks like we're about to get off the road here. So let's go check it out. So the last walk by shot I did was just right down there. <clears throat> so I'm standing on top of these bluffs now. Cut down that road and went around. And uh, climbed up here. Technically a little off trail, but couldn't miss it. All right, inspiration point. It's just about one o'clock. I'd hope to get here a little before one, so I made it and I'm gonna stop here for about five to 10 minutes, have a drink, snack, and we're gonna hit it. That's a little spot, Inspiration Point, was technically <clears throat> not on the trail. The trail stays on the road and kind of goes around that, but you can cut through. And anyway, this is whew, the first place where the River to River Trail actually enters the forest, Godwin Trailhead. Let's see what we got here on the old Garmin 11.1 .1 miles. So about 11 miles to get to uh, to the woods. But here we go. We made it. Not too bad. It's a little after one and feel good. So probably going to walk till at least 530. So maybe I can get another 10 miles in. Uh, in four and a half hours and start out with a 21 or 22 mile day that would be amazing so uh welcome to uh the woods on the river to river trail here we go looks like we're gonna see some good color back here let's do it i'm just a little ways back here and i uh, thought i'd give you a look around So far it's um, pretty much what I expected or hoped it was going to be. <clears throat> it's actually a little more grown in than I thought uh, in late October. I know I mentioned, or I think today's the 26th, Tuesday. And uh, yeah, I tried to get up here. I didn't want to come up this far north and do a November hike like I normally do. This is about as far north as the Ozark Trail in Missouri. And uh, if you guys remember, I, ooh, that was one of the coldest hikes I've ever done. I didn't want to do that again. So I'm um, outside of a little rain, looks like good weather. So anyway, I'm just probably about two miles from that trailhead and wanted to give you a look back here. And I'm gonna keep heading on. Well, I will say the trail is laid out very nicely through here. I mean, it's like you're up here on the side of a ridge, sometimes on top, and uh, it's pretty easy walking and really, <laughs> just really cool how they laid out this path through here. You can kind of see um, for a while it was staying up on the top and um, yeah, it almost felt like you were kind of on old train track uh, thing even though you're not check out these markers pretty cool 
change color. Um, I guess they use this and the white and blue one. And uh, they are a strange color, but they're pretty noticeable. I think I've uh, noticed them, uh, quite a few of them actually. And uh, you know, I've been on trails where the marks are blue or white, and I've still walked by them and gotten off trail. So, you know, it really kind of depends on how much attention you're paying. And uh, so, anyway, uh, starting to ramble, so just wanted to let you know I'm enjoying it back here. And see, this is what I'm talking about. This kind of like you're on the top of the ridge thing through here, and it's been this way for quite some time. So, really loving it. And this is Hutchins Creek, and I just came out over there and decided to walk up there into that real thin spot and just jump across. And it was pretty easy. And now I'm back over here and I'm... You can see the trail right over there. So I'm hoping it picks up somewhere right over here. I'm going to take a break here and slam a liter of water at least and uh, get the hydration thing, uh, at least keep it going. I haven't been drinking too much so I need to get on it and I'm going to slam one, fill up and see how far we can get Hutchins Creek. Still at Hutchins Creek, I just finished up my break and uh, Decided to slam a whole liter of Gatorade and just replace it with water. So I've got <clears throat> just under four liters of water on me now. And I was just going to show you, there's one of those markers over there. And that one is very hard to see. And uh, the only reason it caught my attention was the little orange flag. And so I walked closer and saw that. And also a pretty good little campsite right there. But um, it's only 3.30. So I'm going to walk for another two hours and uh, just see how far I can get. So anyway, great stop there, beautiful, and uh, loaded up. And I know that I crossed by Cedar Lake, I think it's called, um, and that will be probably early tomorrow morning. So there will be another water source there, that's for sure. But uh, anyway. Moving on. Well, it's about quarter after five and I'm at just about 17 on the dot and the trail's pretty far up there. I walked uh, way down here. I found a spot up there and then saw this and came way down here. Not the best spot ever, but I laid down, feels good. And um, yeah, I wanted to keep going, but I'm a quarter mile from a road and then I have about a four somewhere between four and five miles on that road and there's just no way I'm gonna get back off that road before it's dark and so um, even though it's a 17 that's not bad out of the gate that puts me about 38 36 38 miles from my first cache so uh, as long as I get over there day after tomorrow, everything's good. And so I'm going to call it here for uh, day one on River to River Trail. And I'm uh, going to cook up some dinner over here, probably around one of these logs, and uh, call it a night here. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning. It is um, October 27th, Wednesday, day two. Um, probably about a mile from my campsite um, and I'm doing that road walk I was talking about last night and yeah I'm glad I stopped because I wasn't sure if it was a dirt road but it's not so um, looks like I'm on roads for the next about five miles so um, not a not an awesome start to the day being on the road but um, it's probably close to 7 o'clock and it's still kind of dark, so I'll check in with you here when it uh, gets a little more uh, light out. So I'll see you here in a bit. Welcome to day two.
made it down into Alto Pass and I was going to show you I came down that way and right here on this telephone pole a couple markers right over there there's a couple markers and then right there there's a marker so so far I'm uh, really impressed with how well this is marked um, I do also have a map set that I'll talk about later and uh, that helps but so far I haven't really needed it it's pretty well marked so Alto Pass I think I got a couple more miles and I'll be off the road hey puppy <coughs> I thought I was a little worried when they came running up to me. They came running down that hill and went under that fence. It's okay. I know you you don't trust me, do you? <laughs> anyway, he ran up wagging his tail. So you guys are nice, huh? You guys with the black ears. Are you going with me now? You probably should go back home. <laughs> Oh well, at least they're not mean. That could have been bad with four of them and they're pretty big. It's okay. Are you the scaredest one of all? <laughs> Alright, well, I've been petting these two with the black ears a lot. They're real friendly, especially you, huh? Hey, you got two different colored eyes. Look at you. Cool. Well, I've been back in the woods for maybe a mile or two now. Um, and uh man those dogs followed me for a long way uh, one followed me almost all the way down to the cutoff and i had to kind of turn around and run him off her him but uh yeah, it's kind of funny but uh yeah just wanted to give you a little look back here pretty easy hiking through here and seen a lot of water through here i have over two liters on me and not worried i'm coming up to a couple miles from cedar lake and then i think a couple miles after that i go across another creek i think it's lick crossing or something like that but uh yeah nice being in the woods again i think i have a little bit of road walking today um other than this morning but not much so I'll see you over at Cedar Lake. Kind of what I've been seeing back here. Mostly dry creeks, but um, there is some. If you were desperate, this isn't that bad. It's pretty clear. I uh, can't really see up around there, but I don't think this is a bad pool of water. But um, yeah, I've got enough to get to the lake and possibly to the next creek. So I'm going to skip this one, but it's good to see it back here. I'm pretty sure that's Cedar Lake. I feel like I'm hearing boats and stuff out there, so... Um, like I said, I know I cross... It's weird, you don't cross at the foot or the head of the lake. It crosses kind of like in the middle. And I'm not sure whether that's a bridge or a dam or what, but... Uh, it looks to be pretty cool, so... I'll stop talking about it and get over there. I read there's some camping around here somewhere. Um, of course, I'm not looking for that, but there's a nice shot. But um, yeah, I haven't seen, uh, I thought there was gonna be a lot more campsites on this. I saw one yesterday down at that Hutchins Creek. And other than that, I haven't seen anything. And I stealth camped last night and I walked pretty far off trail. Let's see. 50 to 100 yards so uh yeah i haven't seen a lot but this is a really pretty area wow cool well this is awesome i didn't know it was going to do this oh, wow 
This looks like this could be pretty bad. Uh, there was a lot of rain. up here. been sitting over here in the shade taking a short break and drink almost a whole Gatorade and filled up here got uh, two and three quarters on me so a little less than three liters but I've seen water today so I'm gonna kind of take a little chance and I know I come up to uh, another creek in several miles so what a cool area though do one last quick pan around so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to carry um, everything full. I mean, I have three three liter bottles and one that's a three quarter liter, so. I bet you could find a ton of good stealth spots out there. Notice this area is uh, less ridge-like, so there's a lot more flat space. I've seen a lot more um, opportunities to camp, we'll say. Like, I know for a fact I could go out there and find a spot. But yesterday, you know, that tree right there would start to drop off down on a ridge, so... There just weren't as many flat spots, but I thought this looked really neat back here. It's kind of a dark forest. <laughs> Spooky. Not a bad little pool if you needed it. Looks like I can see it running just right down there, so that'd probably be a place to get it. Not here. <laughs> but here we go. Right turn. Pretty sure this is Mill Creek. Pretty nice. At least it's running through. Pretty wide too. Yeah. I don't walk too far out on this log. <laughs> End up in Mill Creek. Anyway, nice. So I feel good that there'll be water in that Lick Branch Creek or Lick Crossing or whatever it is. We're looking good. Just finished a couple miles of road walking. Went through a town or near a town called Maconda, I believe. I was on the other side and I actually missed a little turn off that runs straight across this highway. And a little old lady came out and goes, hey, you're hiking the river to river, it's back there. So, thank God, I'd already figured it out and then turned around, but she pointed out exactly where it was. And anyway, I'm going back in the woods after a few miles of uh, not so much fun road walking, but it was okay. And uh, I'm just gonna keep going. We'll see how far we can get. Well, I ended up on another road. Uh, didn't know that was going to happen today, but uh, I did know there was a lot of road walking on this, and so far it's been about half of each day. Well, yesterday was more than half for the start, but today it's been about half and half, I'd say. So 
I'm hoping on the east end there will be less of this, so. several caves through here, but that's definitely the biggest one. And I am gonna walk right on by. Uh, it's uh, probably around quarter to three. I'm about 16 and a half miles, and I'm hoping uh, to walk for well, probably about another two or three hours at least. Let me see here. It's 2.25, so I can walk for about two and a half hours at least and then start looking for camp. So, hoping to make around... I'd love to get to 23 miles, but if I get to even 21, 22, I'll be pretty satisfied. So, anyway... cool section through here. Got this cool rock overhang. Pretty awesome. I can tell there was nothing back here so <laughs> I felt safe coming in here. But yeah this whole base of cliffs or whatever rocky ridge thing has been running all the way down this thing. It's actually, whoa, pretty cool. First thing that can happen at the end of the day did happen. Um, I got off trail, I took a left turn and went way down and I came to a road and looked and it was the wrong road. I came all the way back up. I didn't see the trail so I bushwhacked all the way down through here and I just picked it up right here. And uh, I knew I was supposed to come out on Antioch Lane and I came out on some other beaver lake or something like that I don't remember but <laughs> wow um, I would probably be at a campsite now had that not happened that was at least a solid mile detour and uh, let's see what I'm sitting at now I'm just about at 22 miles so I was hoping to be at camp but um, I should be close to this Antioch Lane now, and I'm going to zip down that and get right back into the woods and find something immediately. So, I'll see you over there. It's getting kind of dark and still haven't found anything. This might have to be my last check-in and um, try to get a shot if I find something before it gets too dark. but. I've walked off trail several times and, hmm, just not quite, so hoping I find something here within the next 10, 15 minutes. So I got it set up and uh, it's not too bad down here. Uh, I don't have anything in there yet. I just wanted to try to get a shot before uh, it got too dark here. But uh, yeah, I came down this ridge and up the next one and the next one there were some flat spots and they kept getting flatter so I kept coming down 
I got to there and just came around here and this is a really great flat spot and there's probably a couple more over there but this is going to do it for day two. Um, not sure how many miles uh, with the turnaround so I'll look on the maps and figure it out and put it in there later but I'm guessing we're somewhere near mile, well we're probably at 39 or 40 so about a 22, 23 miler. And uh, I'm going to finish getting it set up and eat and pass out. I'll see you guys in the morning.